I have here a CVA Wolf. It's their entry level into muzzle loading for from CVA. And I think this is one of the best valued hunting tools that you can buy new um, out on the market. And so I've had two CVA Wolves. I still have two. Um, this is the newer of the two. This one actually comes with a little uh, way of opening up the, the barrel and cleaning it directly. I uh, can just put a loading cap in here and so forth. I make sure that I have an anti-seize stick on it. And I lube that up really good. It comes all the way out. You can just um, twist it with your hand. Some of the older CVA Wolves, you actually had to use like a little ratchet or socket set or the little device that came with it to do the same thing that I just did there. This one I actually picked up at a National Wild Turkey Foundation. I think I actually just won this one. But the other one I bought as a kit. It was probably for around 200 bucks. But it's been a long time. It is still a relatively cheap hunting tool. Obviously, it's, it doesn't really come under the heading of a firearm, per se. Um, there might be different rules. I don't know all of them, but my understanding is you can get these pretty much um, if you, even if you couldn't own a firearm. Um, muzzle loaders are really cool devices. I don't use it a lot just because I'm not big into cleaning my muzzle loader. And I'm hoping to take my first deer with a muzzle loader. Now, I've had this muzzle loader out hunting, but I've always killed them with either archery equipment, mostly archery equipment, and also shotgun. And I have taken the muzzle loader hunting out, but just haven't had the opportunity. Hopefully, this weekend I will. And so anyway, I'm just going to load it up and give it a shot to make sure it's ready to go and uh, see what comes of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this CVA powder measure, which goes up to, I believe, 120 grains. I'm going to be using this Pyrodex over here that's meant for rifles. So it's FFG. All right, so I'm just going to pour the powder in. And YouTube Gold, I'm just going to pour it in directly. You can see I'm not a serious muzzle loader, but I'm just trying to make sure to do it safely enough. Again, if you want to watch an expert do it, I would advise looking for an expert video. But again, I think I can I do well for the common guy just going to kill try to kill something over the weekend. Anyway, I got 120 grains right here. I'm gonna pour it down. Again, check your own manufacturer's guidelines on the amount that you're supposed to use. I'm gonna put a uh, power belt in. I realize serious shooters might not always be all into the power belt. Again, I'm. This is the backyard muzzle loader. That this probably would be the only time I use one. Will be this weekend. This might be the only shot I do, unless I get lucky. Because I have a feeling this will at least be good enough for government work, so to speak, as they say. So that was the starter right there. Again, got my little stick here. Make sure that's all the way down. Sometimes I do a little tap to it. And now, outside of a primer, my muzzle loader is ready to go. Just to give you an idea how long it's been since I've shot muzzle loaders, I've kept the same box of primers since the first time I bought a muzzle loader. And it's still going well, these W209s. All right, here goes nothing. I got my uh, primers. I'm going to pull one out. Hopefully they're still good. Some of them don't look as good as others. I'll put a good looking one in. Once this primer goes in, the muzzle loader is considered um, armed, so to speak. It's now considered loaded. So you can literally drive down the street as long as you didn't have the primer in, 
the muzzle loader is considered not loaded. It's when that primer is in that the muzzle loader is considered loaded in regards to laws and driving with a loaded weapon. Again, it's not a, a gun, even though it is essentially that. It's a muzzle loader. Putting my ears on. Pull back the hammer. Got our smoke. And hopefully I hit the target. Let's go check a look. Boy, talk about a different experience when it comes to shooting that over a modern firearm when it comes to essentially a black smoke substitute which of course makes the gun rust out much faster than other so let's go take a look and see how i did now this is not bs this is just my first shot with my muzzle loader and uh well that's pretty darn good this is at 40 yards, so I probably have it set up just to be a little higher for a little bit longer distance shooting. Uh, or maybe I use 100 grains and it comes down a little bit. But I am content with my goal of shooting um, with that muzzle loader. I am going to shoot another one for uh, our, the sake of YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and just because it's fun. And once you dirty it up, you might as well get something out of it so I'm gonna shoot this again and see where I hit and you can see the actual shot Fire in the hole. I really got to say I'm quite content with my CVA wolf muzzle loader again I only shot it twice um, this year this is it right here out of the out of the gun case made these two shots feel quite ready for deer season muzzle loading Illinois <clears throat> yeah I definitely recommend this one of the best dollar for dollar hunting weapons you can buy new at a store anyway let's take a look at what it did to the TV Pretty clean, even cleaner than the shotgun shots. Anyhow, I hope you got something from this. At least I'm ready for tomorrow. Take care.